Brunswick who asks, what is ethanol and how is it made? Ethanol is my favorite solvent. <laughs> I know it's kind of random, most people don't have favorite solvents, but hash makers yeah, have favorite makers solvents, do. yeah. And so ethanol is alcohol. It's alcohol that's been purified, basically. So there's as, as little water as possible in it and no other contaminants. Um, alcohol itself is made pretty simply. It's been made for thousands of years, and if not tens of thousands of years. And it's all it is is a carbohydrate that's been exposed to yeast that converts the sugars into alcohol. Um, at, a, at its most primitive, that yeast is naturally present in human saliva. So there's like native cultures all over the world that will chew up a grain or a fruit juice and spit it out and just let that ferment and it turns into an alcoholic beverage. It's, you know, it's been made by almost every culture around the world. And then it's just a question of refining it. The, once it's fermented, you, you can just get rid, you know, there's different techniques for getting rid of the water and the other contaminants and it becomes more and more pure until you've got something that we call ethanol. Now, I always advise people to purchase organic ethanol. I'm, I'm a big supporter of organic everything. Just to being real, I, regular ethanol is chemically identical to organic ethanol. If, if it really is ethanol, it's ethanol. Now, what makes it organic is the source of the carbohydrate, whether it's a grain or grape or whatever plant material was used to make the carbohydrate that is then made into ethanol, that's what makes it organic. And so really what you're doing is supporting sustainable farming when you buy organic ethanol. It's not that the chemical you're buying is different from a non-organic version. And now another thing to be very aware of is most ethanol that's used in laboratories, most ethanol that's for sale in stores is denatured. And that means poisoned. And it's not like, it literally means intentionally poisoned so that if you drink it, you'll be poisoned. And the reason they poison ethanol is because regular ethanol, organic ethanol, natural ethanol is alcohol. And so it'll get you drunk. And so it's regulated like vodka and beer and wine, which means taxed. And if you buy, so for example, when I buy a five gallon drum of ethanol, organic ethanol, I spend as much money on taxes for that ethanol as I do for the substance itself. Mm -hmm. And that's the way liquor is. And that's super lame when you're try just trying to make cash with it. But if you're, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. And uh, if you buy, if you buy denatured ethanol, you're, you know, you're poisoning you and your patients. So it's, you know. It's really, really important that you scrutinize and make sure that what you're buying is natural ethanol. And that's another good reason to just get it from organic sources, because if you're buying organic ethanol, that's not been poisoned almost by definition. So when you hear patients getting like kind of flu-like symptoms, nauseated from, is that what that is? Or is it, it could worse? Be. I mean, there's, you can, I mean, you can fully die. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and it leaves a residue. So you can like, you can take hash that has no ethanol in it whatsoever, but ha if it was made using denatured ethanol or, you know, there's other types of poison mm -hmm. that get put in alcohols. Those are chemical residues that stay behind. The same is true with a lot of different solvents. And we're going to dive into the pros and cons of the different solvents, but yeah, there. You know, cannabis is safe. Solvents are not necessarily yeah. safe, and you know we see a lot of health ramifications of people. You know, just choosing poor methods of production. Uh, you know, the wrong solvent can hurt a lot of people. Right. Thank you. Thank you.